Hey everyone, Constructor Factory 5 here, and welcome back to another review. This time we're taking a look at Bachman's latest H.O. Thomas & Friends engine release, Daisy the Diesel Rail Car. So, as always, I will begin with a bio, and then we will go into the model and talk about all its glory. So, Daisy the Diesel Rail Car was first introduced in Series 2 of the Thomas & Friends television series. In the episode, well, Daisy. <laughs> she was, you know, a lazy diesel who was very finicky, very picky, came to Thomas's help on Thomas's branch line when, after Thomas crashed into the Station Master's house in the iconic episode, Thomas comes to breakfast. She considered herself as highly sprung, thoroughly modern, up-to-date, but once again, she was extremely, extremely picky. All she ever wanted to do was pull passengers, never ever pull any, any pieces of rolling stock. Most notably, the iconic Tidmouth milk tanker as seen in the episode, which Toby shunts behind her. Later on, in season four, she encounters a bull on the line, as you just saw. And, well, let's just say, <laughs> she can be quite... Funny, you know, when it comes to handling animals. Once again, as shown before. You know, this all just speaks to her personality. And there's a reason why she honestly is one of my favorite characters in the show. So, funnily enough, she only really appeared in seasons 2 and 4 of the Thomas and Friends television series. Um, when considering the model series, not including Cornwall Engine, when she made her big return in the whole Themes vs. Diesel segment. And it wasn't until Soldier's Legend of the Lost Treasure that she returned in full CGI, and then a whole bunch of episodes were made about her, and which honestly are some of the best CGI episodes, in my opinion. She now works on the Harwick branch line, which was a really neat idea. But you'll probably see you guys in TSS, I'm probably going to stick with the classics, in that she still works on for Farquhar, just because... Again, that's what I grew up, that's what I'm used to, and that's kind of what I want to branch off for the future episodes of TSS. So enough about her bio, let's get right into her model and talk about all its glory. So, for Bachman, she was announced along with Peter Sam back in 2019 for NMRA as a massive surprise to Thomas, and Thomas fans. This just, again, it came as a huge surprise. No one was expecting this. I remember I was honestly just taking a break from some piano practice there and went on the Bachman forum and just saw this surprise announcement and I, and I just couldn't believe it, you know, when I saw Daisy and Peter Sam getting announced. I was unbelievably ecstatic. And, you know, because this has never really happened where we got a brand new HO engine with new tooling announced in the summertime. 2019 was the first time we ever got this and by the time I'm filming this, the NMRA for 2022 got announced and we are getting Bo and Rebecca. And, wow. I mean, I'm amazed that we're getting more engine announcements considering that 2022's February announcement was already a massive, massive surprise. A pleasant surprise, that is. And now we're getting more engines. It's just, it's amazing. And it's it's just so awesome to see that the Thomas range is doing well and has so much attention. And, and, and I just want to thank Bachman. If there are anyone from Bachman's watching this, just thank you very much for constantly producing amazing Thomas models. We really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, Daisy has been a huge success as far as I'm concerned in terms of selling. Um, I'd highly recommend you purchase this model from Train World, as um, they have excellent prices and their shipping is just wicked fast. So I'll leave a, a link to the, in the description to Daisy from Train World. And I keep showing you guys close-ups of the model, but I'm not even talking about it. So enough with all that stuff, and let's get into the model itself. So I'm going to start with the face, because... The face is always a very important part for Thomas fans, you know, because it really defines the character's personality and how accurate it is to the show. So, I think Bachman did an excellent job representing the CGI face. I actually like the fact that the eyebrows, excuse me, not eyebrows, the eyelashes are not separately applied, as I do think that that could have caused a lot of issues, you know, when producing the model. They drew them on very nicely, too. You know, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. I feel like they're just... Right. It's nice to see that she has eyebrows too, and they did her makeup a little lightly, and that's honestly something that they did in the 
the original model that I found a little jarring. You know, they went really, really hard with the makeup and the eyeliner and all that stuff. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> even as a kid. Um, but yeah, once again, this is an excellent representation of the CGI face. And I must also state the moving eyes. That is something I was very impressed with. Um, I never opened up this model, but when seeing her run down the track, the moving eyes, they don't, I would have thought they would go back and forth a lot faster considering how, the fact that Daisy's a bogey diesel and that the wheels are a lot smaller, but no. Whatever they did inside with the mechanism, they did a stunning job as it's a very, very smooth back and forth at a gradual pace. She also has her notable white buffers, which are iconic. And yeah, again, the moving eyes really, really surprised me. The one complaint that many people have about this model is the windows, the fact that they're blocked out like this, but you know what, I mean, from some angles it does look a little odd, it looks a little toy-like at times, almost two-dimensional, but overall, it, when you see it in the flesh, it's actually not as bad as what people make it out to be. You know, some have argued maybe they should have done black instead, which I could kind of see because I know Ertl and other um, Daisy toys in the past have had blacked out windows, which don't look too bad, but... They were probably going for more of a CGI look, which, you know, most of the time you would see silver windows instead of black ones, you know, if they ever gave off that closed off impression, so that's probably what they were going for there. The roof is also silver. I'm debating on whether I'm going to paint this more of like a, a flat dark gray just to match the model series model more, but it does look good, you know. I just think that what, what what's odd is when you see like the silver and the windows... And it's literally the same exact shade of silver for the roof. Like, that does look a little weird. But, you know, again, I think I think that for what it is, they still did a very, very good job. The back is one of my favorite parts because she has three molded lamps at the bottom here, as shown in both CGI and the model series, as well as one up here. Um, again, the white buffers, very nice feature. And then here's the bottom. This is dated... I could see, yep, 2021. She was originally supposed to come out in 2020, but I think due to the pandemic, she was delayed there. Again, well worth the wait, though. Well worth the wait. And another thing I should mention is that she's actually powered from the back. These are actually free rolling. Again, a very interesting idea on their part, but honestly... I have no issue with it whatsoever because of the fact that she truthfully has to be the best runner in the entire Thomas and Friends line. As far as I'm concerned, you know, every HO engine I've had, um, you know, there's some very smooth runners, but most of them, you know, stall on the, on the switches, but Daisy on the hand, she just glides right through. She has no problem whatsoever. She's also quite heavy too. Like they put quite a lot of weight in her, which is a good thing. So, you know, if you ever wanted her to pull milk tankers, you know, just for the, the humor of it, you could. Um, she does have a front coupling. These can be removed. At some point, I may remove them. Mine in the back is actually missing that part that jol jolts out there, but that's okay. Yeah, I love the shade of green. It's actually not exact to Percy and Duck. It's actually a little bit lighter, which I think in CGI is actually accurate. So... Once again, a stunning, stunning announcement, a stunning release, and here's hoping that Bachman can pull off, you know, in the future, Boko or Diesel 10. I mean, it's highly unlikely. It seems like they, you know, they're going more for, like, a CGI route, which, you know, I kind of understand the logic there, but as these models become more expensive, you know, here's hoping that they can cater more to older fans who, you know, have the money to spend on these expensive models. Um, you know, most notably, like, models like Boko and even Diesel 10 would be a good choice if they could somehow get the, you know, pinchy to work properly, because it would be kind of cool to have one more uh, bogey diesel in the Bachman Thomas line to go along with Daisy. That would be really cool. But yeah, that's basically everything I wanted to say. Stunning runner, stunning model. I know the closed windows, that's probably just the only slight drawback. But she's Really great, nevertheless. Again, in terms of performance, absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Yeah. So I'd probably rate her about a 9 out of 10, just because of the windows. It would have been nice to have transparent ones, just to make her look a little more realistic. But, again, it doesn't really bother me. She's an iconic model, a classic. 
And also the last model, another fun fact, the, the last engine to be mentioned in the Thomas and Friends Anthem that, Bach, that um, Bachman hasn't made. So that's really awesome. You know, Diesel, Duck, and Daisy. Finally, we have all of them. So, yeah. I'd highly recommend you get this model from Train, Train World. She, you will not be disappointed, believe me, when you see her in the flesh. And even on the camera, she looks great. But when you especially see her in the flesh, you're going to be like, wow, this was well worth the purchase. So I'll leave the link in the description once again. Check it out. It's a great model. Great site. And yeah. So this is Terrence Attractor 525. Thank you very much for watching this review.